I grew up in a little town called Muskogee, Oklahoma, and um, my parents were not poor, but they didn't have, you know, just tons and tons of money on f to spend on books, and I was a voracious reader, and so I spent um, many, many afternoons when other kids were out uh, running and swimming, and I was holed up at the library, um, at the Muskogee Public Library, and um, I just, I just loved it. I mean, that I just always felt like, you know, I was at home there, and it was just uh, all these worlds that were uh, available to me. And um, librarians introduced me to some of my favorite books, and um, and of course my aunt uh, was a librarian, and uh, and she um, passed a few years back. But um, whenever I give a talk at a library, I always like to think of um, my aunt Dee kind of happy that I'm that I've become an author and that I'm at a library. I think when I was when I was young that uh, kids were only allowed like to take out three books at a time and my mom went to the librarian and said look um, three books you know if we can only take home three books we'll, we'll have to come back in two days so um, I think I got to take the, the maximum or whatever um, but you know just being able to explore so many different things I mean I went through a phase where you know, it was, I was interested in the kings and queens of England, and then I went through the arachnid phase, so everything about spiders, and, and of course there was all the fiction, which was always my favorite. Uh, everything from Encyclopedia Brown to Mrs. Piggle Wiggle um, were introduced to me by library. Uh, I use the library mostly for research. Uh, I, in this next novel, uh, Mudbound, certainly I spent a huge amount of time at the Columbia University Library and also at the New York Public Library, which is an amazing resource. Um, so I, I use it for mostly for research. Libraries for so many people who who are like me as a kid, you know, who can't afford to just buy and buy and buy books. Um, like this is just something that's. It's kind of being taken away, and 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 the librarians are the ones who really uh, can sort of direct people towards. Oh well, you'd really like this, or you know, you'd be interested in that, and um, as they did so much with me. Um, so I hate to think of there being fewer libraries and librarians. I'm completely against censorship of any kind. I think it's an absolutely horrific idea, um, and uh, and that would apply to. You know, not, not only communities that say, well, you know, Catcher in the Rye is, is a corrupting influence on young minds, but also to things like these revisionist uh, rewrites of Mark Twain, you know, uh, which is another kind of censorship. You know, it's political correctness censorship. Um, so I'm not a big fan of censorship. Well, I just finished a book, and um, I'm about to plunge into my third novel, uh, which I'm not really talking about a lot yet. Uh, but before I do that, I'm actually working on several short stories, uh, one of which is about a comedian who has lost his funny, another is about the second coming of Christ, and the third story is actually entitled right now, Naked Woman Walks Into a Library. So it's about, takes place in a library. I'm just trying to keep my fans as confused as I possibly can. Yeah. <laughs>